Today, I'm here to show you a demonstration of LeanLaw. We are a timekeeping, invoicing, and reporting platform with deep integration to QuickBooks Online. We extend at QuickBooks Online functionality for small to medium-sized law firms. We see ourselves as the financial operating system for the law firm. I'm going to cover all facets of LeanLaw's workflow, uh, both time capture, expense management, trust accounting, invoicing, and reporting. I'm going to start with time capture. There are four tools in Lean Law to capture time. This is the calendar tool. It is a visual representation of your day, whether you want to look in multi-day view or single day view. Um, in here, you're looking for gaps, and it's for those time trackers that want to see their time laid out. We also, of course, have timers. To do a time entry here, I just click it, pick my client, I'm just going to type in D-A-R-G for this Bergstrom Enterprises. I'll use snippets. Snippets are phrases of text that the law firm can generate to help expedite their time entry. We bill in tenths or quarter hours, so that's six-minute or 15-minute increments. And, of course, I can save that. Um, for the time trackers that are more list-minded, we have time entries. And this is both a time review filters tool and a time entry tool. Again, working with this Bergstrom Enterprises, I can look at this month's activity for just Fred, or if I expand it, I can look at all users and of course sort by user. Let's see some Mike Rice time to see that we've got 18.4 hours as needed. I can print or export my time. Exporting will go right to Excel. Creating a time entry here is just a click, pick a user. Again, using those snippets, add my time create the entry, done. It is sticky and remembering all the data that I had just put in, so doing another time entry is very efficient. So this is our bulk entry tool. For those users that don't want to track time in a web browser, we have LeanLaw Desktop. It is meant strictly for time entry, um, it, and it shows you the matters that you have um, visibility to with the matters that you most recently interacted with on top. Um, this is meant to be a companion tool it's for those time trackers that just want a little tool sitting on their desktop, track time is long, a long way. Of course, we have timers in this tool as well, and anything entered in LeanLaw Desktop will automatically populate to the LeanLaw Cloud. No work is needed. Now, moving on to expenses. Um, we can enter those reimbursable costs in LeanLaw directly or capture them from QuickBooks. If I'm capturing from QuickBooks, you certainly can use an add-on tool like bill.com or Expensify to capture um, using that accounts payable workflow, tagging it, and it will automatically populate into LeanLaw. And these expenses are visible in LeanLaw with the ones with the green dot denoted that they came. Uh, this was a bill in QuickBooks, and the lean laws are marked as such. So if I want to look for a particular client, I can just filter and see all of those two items came over, a check and a bill from QuickBooks, and the rest came from lean law. And this QuickBooks interoperability is real time. So anything captured in QuickBooks will be appeared in lean law in real time. If you don't know the client or if the client has more than one matter, lean law will tag those as such, and then you can assign those expenses to the client matter um, as needed. On to the billing workflow. So in the billing workflow, it's really broken into two sections. First is the review and approve section for those um, clients that need an invoice workflow. Um, we're working with this Bergstrom matter. Um, you can see we've got uh, uh, 21.7 hours. I'm gonna use a one-click create draft invoice. Now, we can absolutely do this all in batch and in bulk for those users that have, are processing a fair amount of work. Um, we can print or have a fully uh, electronic invoice review. Um, LeanLaw will show you that reviewer, the trust balance, any client AR, and the invoice total. Um, we'll see that we'll put, because trust accounting is in play here, an automatic retainer um, transaction statement into the memo field. Um, as well. We can edit any of these time entries as needed by just clicking into them, using write down, or removing them for later. Um, once we've approved it, we just click approve, and that, communicate, that communicates to a billing clerk that it's ready to be delivered to in QuickBooks where it is realized into an invoice. Again, Lean Law's job is to collect the time, the fees, and the expenses that go into an invoice. I'm going to now focus on the QuickBooks tab. This is entirely for invoice delivery and payment. Um, by using these filters, I can say, show me all non-paid invoices that need to be emailed. That gives me the set. And in batch, I can email those directly to my clients. 
Um, and that's telling QuickBooks to send that. For the Bergstrom, I actually want to look at it, those with trust. Remember, we have trust accounting in play. So this is showing all of my clients that are not paid. In bulk, I could pay these from trust, and Lean Law will handle all of the accounting associated with that. Or I can use this function and just say, pay this from trust and use that. And that facilitates all of the accounting. Now you might say, hey, how did that, how did you get the trust money into Lean Law? Well, we use the deposit to trust function. Um, or in some clients might have asked for the trust money with a trust request. That's an electronic trust request facilitated by our partner Gravity Payments. Um, so the deposit to trust allowed me to look at the um, and set who's going to get the money and cite who it was from and what the use was. Now, if we look at this register, I'm going to start with this register. I'm going to refresh it. This was the initial trust deposit. You can see the 10,000 was put in. We cited the liability and this was all automated. We created that liability account. We had that IELTA added. Well, now that I refresh this because I've not only deposited the money, I've paid it. Um, you can see the new transaction in. There's the $9,100 that we paid from invoice. If I look at the bank side, there's that initial deposit. And you can see we brought over that trust information for compliance reason and cited the liability account. That was all automated. If I just refresh this, you'll see that we made a payment. We brought the money out of the trust bank account and made a payment on the invoice. If you're someone who wants to use undeposited funds, you can also turn that feature on in Lean Law and use it as a bank deposit. Now, back to Lean Law. Let's talk a little bit about trust management and reporting. The first thing that happens is a lot of folks want to look at that trust report. If I open up this trust report, I've gone to reports, trust report, I see a list of all my trust accounts um, and I can sort them by client, I can sort them by ID, lots of different ways. And you also notice that we're tracking trust WIP. What this means is that in this instance, Jackie has $65,000 in WIP and only $16,000 in trust. So her, she only has 25% covered. For my client Bergstrom, I might wanna look at that ledger and click into that, you can see We've got $850 and that same trust transaction that I showed you in this register, these two payments, Lean Law is articulating here. Law firm works in Lean Law, accounting folks work in QuickBooks, Lean Law handles that data exchange. If I need to export or print that, I can do so. Heading back to reports, you'll see it's broken out into four primary areas by client matter, by user, by responsible, by practice area. Of course, we have accounting reports and other material, other reports material to running a law firm. By client matter, we're looking at, well, what's billable by client matter? Productivity, meaning my users, how many hours do they track and what was the value of that? What is the ready to bill or whip for a specific client? And what's whip, billed and collected and revenue reports? By user, these are the individual users and probably the most popular one is this revenue by attorney report. In this report, it's tracking all of the compensation for the attorneys. So if we look at Fred for this period, one year, we Fred billed, he collected 110,000. His share was 78,000, meaning he had to give up some money to some other folks for origination and whatnot. If Fred wanted to see the underlying detail, Fred can click that into it, see all the clients and or matters. If he wants to see what invoices attributed to that 21,000, he can see that and even get down to the allocation detail. Data transparency is a tenant of Lean Law, and we are vigilant about trying to make data easily accessible to all users in the firm. Um, another handy report, just clicking back here, is this WIP build, recorded, WIP build collected by user. I'm going to use the year to date. So this is giving the law firm the ability of how much work in progress there is for a particular user, both broken out by services and expenses, how much was billed, meaning it was put on an invoice, and lastly, what was collected. Um, if I drill into this, I can see the underlying details of how that money was came to be as well by client and or matter. Another popular report here is this receivable report. Um, this allows the law firm to see their receivables in real time um, and show aging. And if someone clicks into this, they can see the underlying invoice and have access. But a second way, and what I think is more valuable, is the law firm can just Sort your clients. So let's just look at uh, let's look at Jackie for a second. If we click into Jackie's account, we immediately see a snapshot of the client. We can see the WIP, the total WIP. We can see the account balance. We can see the trust account, and we can see the last payment. All of this is readily visible. So Lean Law, 
timekeeping and billing.